Hot, hot. Hot spot in the wintertime. It's getting hot in here. So take up, no, no. So as, as I think most people know, the situation has gotten so bad that today, two evictions were scheduled at 10 a.m. at the same time, and two of them were part of Take Back the Land. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Housing is a human right. However, because of the support, Barbara Horton's eviction was called off. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, and today, right here at this place, <coughs> on Stewart <coughs> Terrace, Liz McGriff, the, the sheriff, is scheduled to be here at 10 a.m. Has anybody seen any sheriff? No. no. You know why they're not here? No. Because we're here! Yeah. Yeah. I basically just went down to uh, I mean, sorry. Kind of around the court. Yeah. And uh, I talked to a judge, Judge Resson, Ressi, and uh, I explained to him the situation. And I just, you know, he told me that the attorney that handled it before, the judge rather, handled it before that he was out of town and he said he would look over my papers to see what was going on. So he looked over the papers and he called off, you know, he sent the uh, papers for the sheriff and he called off the eviction. And I go back to court in March. So, so as of right now, the sheriff is still scheduled to come today. We've made some calls and according to the procedure, the sheriff is supposed to come on time and if they don't come, they're supposed to reschedule. However, the sheriff is making their own rules today. So this is what we're going to need. We're going to need everybody to sign up for any times that they can be available for eviction watch in the next two or three days, right? But we need a way, if, if you're available, if they do come, to remobilize. Now, I think most people know, but I just want to make sure people do know that right now we have four people that are locked to the porch in defense of Liz and the defense of the neighborhood. Yeah! 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 So, uh, could you guys tell me your names? We are Take, take Back, back the, the Land. land. <laughs> why, are you, why are you out here doing that? You're, you're, first of all, describe what you're doing right now. Somebody. No. I don't know if you guys have a spokesperson or not. Uh, right now we are locked down to Elizabeth McGriff's home, defending it from the greedy banks who are trying to take it from her. So how are, how are you exact? Do you have like a blanket on you, clearly keeping you warm, but like is there like chains underneath you or something? Or like how does that work? It's a surprise. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> Trade secrets. Trade secrets, okay. It's really complicated. I see, I see. Right. Why uh, did you volunteer to do this? Uh, I assume you volunteered to do this role today. <laughs> We've been working with Liz for quite a few months now, and uh, after getting to know her story and like her personally, and just, like learning like what the banks have been doing, just like sneaky things to try to get her house, even though she's tried to cooperate with them, it's just like it's ridiculous, and we don't want to stand for it. So we're willing to do what we need to do to to stop that, or at least cause a scene to have it. Uh, any other but when you also want to explain why they're doing it? They're just Liz is my friend, they're not gonna take her house without taking me to jail. It's yeah. as simple as that. It's a small sacrifice considering how much Liz is put up with. Um, you know, and this is I think one of the things that we can do to show solidarity with those that are struggling with eviction and foreclosure. Because housing is a human right. It should it should be obvious to people that we should protect families and not the, the profit interests of I mean, banks. Like look around outside right now, like you can't kick somebody out. You just can't like, do that. The, just, you can't into do the that. Of snow. <laughs> These people are heroic as, as they are standing up for their rights and they're right. really standing up for Amen. all of us. So let's yeah. give them a let's give them. Yeah. And if you get a chance before you leave, maybe give them a little hug or a little nudge or something. <laughs> uh, nudge you. <laughs> because, because what they're doing is very courageous. Because if yes. the sheriff had showed up on time, they are risking arrest. 
Yeah. All right, thank you. I shake. I just would like a, a reasonable workout with my home situation because we need to be in our home. And I believe that when people get evicted from their home, that's a, a great start for uh, homeless families. You know, so people should try to work with people because people do fall in hard times. And some people, they don't know what it's like to not have or to be struggling, you know, trying to stay in your home. So it would be a good thing for the banks to try to work with people more than what they do. All right, Liz, come on up here. Yes! I just want to say one, one word about Liz. Liz is one of my heroes. This is the third time she's come out to defend her house. And oh, one of you have been here with her. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not only that, Liz and Miss Horton right here. Yeah. Liz and Miss Horton went down to Washington, D.C. on September 30th of last year and confronted the head of the Federal Housing Administration, which is responsible with MidFirst Bank for these foreclosures and evictions. And they, and they confronted them directly on behalf of thousands of people across the country. Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. Woo! And, and their strategy is, is if they can put pressure on, if they can schedule two evictions at once, that they will break our resolve, and that we will let them can run, run over our community and have our way. But as long as we're here, we, we're, we're the line of resistance that can stop them here and stop them across the country. No evictions, no foreclosures. Closures, hey. One, two, three, four. No more marshals at our door. Five, six, seven, eight. Don't evict the I, I think the thing that that questioned me about the, how they how they process things, because this was back in August that they did the first eviction, and this still we haven't gone back to court. Normally, an eviction is 30 days. And um, here it's been almost six months, and they're still proceeding with eviction, not even going to court. We put in a proposal, and they didn't even answer the proposal. Um, so it's it's just been a, a new point. So we're just waiting at this point to find out what, what their next is. is that... Well, we'll find out where they come when they come, and we just you know put on the defense and be positive and believe that it's gonna work things out. Are you feeling good about the turnout and about your chances today? Of I am, happens? especially in the weather, just having a storm and everything. I'm happy. <laughs> This movement for housing as a human right is a national movement. <coughs> yes. in, in Portland, Oregon, in New York City, people have been on the front line against for rent control. In Boston, people have been on the front line for just cause eviction. In Rochester, New York, people continue to be on the front line for foreclosure resistance. People are watching this movement across the country. We need to understand what, what's at stake here. We're not just Rochester, but the entire country. All right. Is, is that's what we're fighting for, yes. is a change in the system for community control and winning popular support to change the system to work for the people. All Take right. that. Right. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. We got sold out. Banks got bailed out. We got sold out. <laughs> I think it's important. I, I thank you guys for coming out because it's, it's important that the community do, does have control over land yeah. rather than leaving it into the hands of the banks. There was regulations that were supposed to um, take place when Obama went into administration, yeah. and they never have. They, they were supposed to regulate the banks and how they modify. When we went to Washington, um, the, um, the person that's over everything, his, his main thing was, to protect the integrity of the fund um, of FHA. It wasn't the people. He's saying, as far as what their statistics say, modifications work. And that's what we're going to stick with, because the modifications work. And um, I had an opportunity to tell them the modifications are not working. Because my, my mortgage went from $635 a month 
did a modification, went up to nine hundred dollars. Oh. Oh. So, um, so it's it's not working. So as far as what they put on paper and what they say is working, it, it's not true. Nice. So I it it. I'm, I'm grateful that everybody came out to support because it's something that needs to be addressed, an issue that needs to be um, dealt with. Our, our fight is not with the police. Our fight is with the banks and for the regulations that they, that they support. Do you have any messages for the bank? We're coming for it. <laughs> this isn't the first and it's not the last time that this is going to happen. Our movement's growing and uh, it's working and, and we love our community more, more than you can love your money.